partial fraction decomposition case 2 way 2 to solve for a b and c so we had the integral with linear parts but one linear part was squared and that's why we end up to have a over x minus 3 plus b over x minus 4 and plus c over x minus 4 squared because x minus 4 even though it was a linear part it was squared so you can see it as x minus 4 times x minus 4 then we end up to have this equation in the green box and we want to solve for a b and c Either you make some kind of nice intellectual guess uh, for x, since this equation holds anyway, or you can collect terms. Way 2, and it's usually the official way people doing it. Collect terms. So this way is definitely more official, more intelligent, I would say, uh, very accurate, and has very nice collection of the information. What I mean by collecting terms is I want to collect all coefficients in, in front of the x to the second power, all coefficients in front of the x to the first power, and all coefficients in front of the x to the zero power. But zero power is just a constant. So all the constants, right? That's the idea. Let's do it. On but I'm not ready to do it uh, before I actually simplified everything. And by simplifying, I'm in actually distribute, FOIL, use formulas, whatever you want. So before I start doing this, let's make sure that our equation actually is ready to be used. Left hand side looks amazing. I like it. Nothing to do there. But A is multiplied by the square of difference. So I'm going to use the formula x squared minus 4 times 2 that's 8x plus 16 parentheses now let's distribute you guys can call it foil but actually distribution x minus 3 and x minus 4 is going to be b multiplied by x squared minus 4x minus 3x plus 12 i'm not using any foil order i just do it the way i like it on the floor Plus, and you can distribute c, cx minus 3c, right? You see, I'm following the order constant times the variable. Now, one more distribution, or you can stop distributing if you want. So this is how you can decide to do it. Let's see. I need to collect all the coefficients in front of x squared, which is on the left-hand side, that's just 1. 1 equals. On the right-hand side, it's going to be a in front of the x squared. And b is going to be in front of the x squared and nothing more. How do I know? Even though I did not simplify or collected anything or finish distribution, which some people like doing, some people are really tedious with this, they will keep distributing everything a x squared minus a 8x plus a times 16 plus b x squared minus 4x minus 3x is minus 7x minus 7x times b plus 12b plus cx minus 3c and now you need to collect the terms if you have any to collect and so on and so on i usually don't do it i usually just see on the flow which coefficients will be multiplied and then i just don't multiply it i do it in my head so a will be multiplied by a squared so it's going to be in the first row that just makes sense you can use color coding if you want x squared and x squared are only in two places and that's how i know it's going to be a plus b you see i don't need to write down x squared because x squared is kind of factored you see it's factored out or basically we're collecting only coefficients in front of the x squared that's my first equation one equals a plus b and as you can guess for three unknowns we need three equations now we're collecting everything in, in front of the x to the first power there is nothing on the left hand side uh, that looks like that because you can see on the left hand side it's actually x squared plus zero times i can write down in the second row it's actually x squared times one plus zero times x plus zero that's how you can see so zero equals now what is going to be in front of the x it's going to be a times minus eight so minus 8a in front of the x skipping 16 because it's not multiplied by any x now b multiplied by negative 7 is going to be 
negative 7b. Skipping 12, we don't need that. And skipping x squared, we also don't need that. And we already used it. What else is in front of the x? c. So plus c. That's all. Let's check uh, with our simplified version. What is in front of the x? 0 in, on the left-hand side. Minus 8a, correct? Minus 7b, correct? And plus c and nothing else. Finally, let's collect all the constants. On the left-hand side is 0. On the right-hand side, whatever is left, a, let's do purple color, times 16. So it's 16a. Now, b times 12. b times 12 and minus 3c. So 12b minus 3c. Let's check in the distributed form. 16a, 12b minus 3c matches. You see, I underlined everything at some point. So everything disappeared. And as you can see, I did not need to FOIL distribute everything to the last moment. You can use your imagination if you want. This is a system of three linear equations with three unknowns. So by the theorem, there is a unique solution for those three unknowns. Now you need to solve it. There are many ways we taught you how to solve linear equations, either using uh, substitution methods, not u substitution, but actual substitution method, or elimination method, right? Elimination method. You choose the one you want. Substitution method is when you want to solve, for example, for a, which is min min 1 minus b, and then plug it, 1 minus b, and then plug it everywhere else, and then keep doing the same idea. The elimination method is, for example, you find some kind of pattern, like you want to multiply this 1 by 3 everywhere, and then add together, and 3c and minus 3c will cancel out. That's elimination method, when you want to eliminate one of the parameters, or even several at the same time. Not even parameters, variables. So let's do elimination method, I guess. If you doing elimination, uh, let's do substitution method. If you do substitution method, then make sure you put everything in the boxes. It's going to be easier to do it later. So if a is 1 minus b, then the second equation, let's uh, number them. That's actually more convenient if you do that. Equation number 1, number 2, and number 3. Now then equation number 2. So from number 1, we got a. That's 1 minus b. Then equation number 2 becomes 0 minus 8, 1 minus b, minus 7b plus c. And equation number 3 becomes 0, 16, 1 minus b, plus 12b minus 3c. And now we have two system of, system of two linear equations with only two unknowns. And now you repeat, what do you want to do, elimination method or a substitution method? And uh, I would say probably you first distribute and uh, collect the terms, see how it goes. 0 equals minus 8 plus 8b minus 7b plus c. And the second equation is 0 equals 16 minus 16b plus 12b minus 3c. Simplify again. 0 equals minus 8. 8 minus 7 is 1, so plus b plus c, 0 equals 16 minus 4b minus 3c. That's my simplified version. Now we have only two unknowns, b and c. The moment I find b, I will be able to find a, because a is 1 minus b. Do you want to do substitution? You do substitution, or you can multiply, like I said, you can do elimination method. For example, you can multiply everything by 3 and add together. That's elimination method. Elimination method. If I multiply by 3, it will be 0 equals 3 times 8, negative 24. That's negative in this case, plus 3b plus 3c. But the second one is 0 equals 16 minus 4b minus 3c. Add them together. We'll cancel out 3c and minus 3c. And finally, it will give me b. Minus 24 plus 16 gives you 8. Minus 8. Now, 
uh, minus 4 plus 3b gives you plus b and finally you get your b which is 8 the moment you got your b now you start rolling back the idea so you got your b find the box for a and that's why the boxing method is so good i like boxing any important information here it is you see visually i can find it really fast in my notes then a is 1 minus b which is 1 minus 8 which is minus 7 minus 7 uh, was it 1 minus b okay I think I messed up with signs. It should be minus 8. B should be minus 8. So let's check again. Oh, I see, I see. It should be minus B. Yeah, because minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. It doesn't match my previous answer. So it's minus 8. Then it's going to be plus, and this is going to be 9. Perfect. Now the answer is good. 9. Put it in the box. How to find C? Since you have A and B, you can plug it literally anywhere and solve for C. But actually, you can do it, for example, over here. It's just easier. Find the easiest equation. For example, this one. I'll put it in the box for you. From this blue equation, it will be 0 equals minus 8 plus B. That's minus 8 again, plus C. C becomes 16 right 16 and that matches with the previous example with the previous solution and now we finally found a b and c and oh my gosh we did this taking 10 minutes versus we did it before with the guessing method and compare how much we wrote this is how fast we found it with the guessing method and this is how fast we found it with the official method uh, not always i would say the guessing method is better sometimes it doesn't work at all but at least it's official and usually uh, it's nice to do it officially but it's slow so that's why i just let you know and then i will just uh, refer to the previous example it's the same example so we found all the numbers a is 9 b is minus 8 and c is 16 then you have three integrals the two integrals gives you natural log and the other integral where i'm using uh, the u substitution and I finished the example. That's how you can do it uh, in two different ways.